Did you get it? Did you get it? It is a cat toy, bro! <laughs> it is a cat toy! It is fine! Hi! Are you okay? This thing has bested you, like, twice now. It is a cat toy, Ludo. I swear to God, it is a cat toy. Oh my god. Big bad pit bull. Are you scared of a cat toy? Hold on. Hold on. Look. Look. Oh, this is a kitty cat toy. Look. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Ludo, it's just... It's just... It's... It's, it's a cat toy. Ludo! Ludo! Oh, Ludo! Why does this butterfly scare you so much? Oh my goodness! 72 pounds. It's totally. Uh, just a 72 pound brute. That's you. I'm scared of a butterfly toy. He's like, it moves, Mom! Oh my god. Big grape, 72 pounder. That's you. <laughs> oh, oh, it moved. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cat toy. Nancy's like, what the hell? Ludo. Oh, my God. Ludo, it's a cat toy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pound pit bull is scared of the tiny butterfly cat toy. Morning. <laughs> it is officially Labor Day weekend for me. It is Saturday. I know a lot of people get like Friday off, but oh, yesterday was effing rough. The day before holiday, like day before the weekend before a holiday is always the fucking worst. Sorry. But it's just, it's always the worst. Um, I don't know. It just, holy shit. We had a lot of limping and coughing dogs yesterday. It was just chaos. It sucked. We found a huge mass on this poor girl's dog who is only like four that was awful like she really ex did not like explain it to the point where i thought it was that serious and then doc the doctor like touched it and was like oh my god this is the amputation road that was so sad seeing a four-year-old dog like having that prognosis so but last time I heard they were going to proceed with doing, like, consult for amputation for the leg and stuff. So I really hope that all works out well for that the family. Because he was a very sweet dog. He was very nervous, but he was very sweet. So working that my is exhausting. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go inside with the dog. But, yeah, we just went outside. And we're going to go do laundry today. And then I'm going to go get a pumpkin spice latte at Big B. Because I haven't had one yet, so. Number one, nothing makes me happier, and just, I know, this makes me sound basic as F. I know, I know, but nothing makes me look happier than seeing the signs at Big B that say, hello, fall. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely get a pumpkin spice latte. Um, it's too warm currently to get my hot apple, or my, like, caramel apple cider, because you have to drink it hot, because it tastes so good hot. I've tried it cold and it was not the greatest, so there's that, but yeah, to do this. I forgot my pumpkin muffin, but I will eventually, the season's still young, guys. I will get my pumpkin muffin eventually, but um, I'm so excited. They have like these new like waffle, uh, maple waffle sandwiches for breakfast and they have an egg and cheddar one, so I'm going to try that. 
I've had like maple waffle, like I've had waffle breakfast sandwiches before and I thought they were pretty good. But they always have meat in them. So I love our local big baby because they're always so like willing just to take the meat off. So we're doing that. I'm also getting a cold brew, pumpkin cold brew again. Your girl is a basic woman. I hate how giddy I feel right now, but it's like <laughs> after having to deal with like summer and this summer has been rough like at work and at home. I've had my car for the past two months in the shop and just one blow after another. I, you know, I need something. It's the little things. We're also gonna go Halloween hunting today. Not not completely. We're not like gonna go to Spirit Halloween or anything, but we're gonna look at like, we're gonna go to Meyer and stuff like that and like look and see, so. Some people are just so impatient. All right. I want my coffee. <laughs> so I was just sitting in the living room and minding my own business, finishing up my book, and uh, a giant freaking spider ended up on the chair, like on the arm of the chair that I was sitting in. And I cannot tell you how quickly I moved out of that chair. I've lost him in the living room, so I'm like fighting the urge to set my living room on fire. So <laughs> that is now his living room. That's fine. I don't care. But big announcement. I finished The Whisper Man, and eh, the, the ending kind of unco- I liked The Bone Man's Daughters better, um, the ending-wise, um, and this one, it was- sorry. It was- I mean, it was good, but it didn't, like- I think I'm gonna give it about four stars. Yeah, I think I'll give it four stars. It wasn't terrible, but it still held my attention. The ending was very sad, but good. Um, but, you know, would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah, that was a good read. It was a good read. Four stars today for that one. Um, so now that I've finished The Whisper Man, we are going to start Vampires of El Norte. That brings me up to three books for the month of August. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I knew I was bound and determined to finish um, The Whisper Man this month today because uh, I wanted three books because I had three books including my audiobook last month um, three books last month so yeah if I keep going at the rate I'm going I'm gonna go over my my uh, my goal but that's fine we'll just set a bigger goal for next time I don't know we'll see but yeah we're gonna start vampires of El Norte probably more than likely tonight um, either while I'm making dinner or before or during while I'm eating dinner um, but I have some horror movies I want to watch tonight, too. Um, one of them including Lisa Frankenstein. I think I want to watch that one. But also, let's remember that um, my favorite ghost with the most is uh, getting a sequel. And it's coming out here soon. <laughs> I believe it's September 4th. Beetlejuice is coming back! So excited. And I love that the shrunken heads are getting more of a cast, like, a, a starring role. Because I absolutely, I know he was only there for, like, a split second, but my god. <laughs> and definitely they realize that. <laughs> so, yeah. New books, horror movies tonight. I got a whole bunch of really yummy, like, Halloween snackies for the holiday this weekend because we're leading straight into official burr season. Like, September, October. So, yay! <laughs> Definitely ready, because today is definitely a summer day, and I'm not feeling it, so. All right, I'm going to still fight the urge to go burn my living room down. All right, as I told you guys, I was going to finish The Whisper Man before the end of August. Sure as crap, I finished it yesterday, but I didn't film shit, so I apologize. <laughs> Happy August 1st. Oh my god. Or August 1st. September 1st. I'm sorry. We're into the burrs. Guys, we are officially... 60 days. Repeat it. 60 days before Halloween. Ah! <laughs> so we're going to be doing 60, 60 days of Halloween. To start off the month of Burr, we're going to start with Vampires of El Norte. That is going to be Isabel, Isabel Canas. Canas? 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 Uh, if I'm saying it wrong, please correct me. Um, I'm very excited. I want to read this one. I have not heard any reviews or anything. I'm trying not to read the synopsis of it, but it sounds like a vampire love story and I'm here for it. 
vampires. I love. I almost bought Bride last night because I'm all for that vampire and I'm a different monster love. Hello. <laughs> so, let's start this. See how long it takes, eh? I'm going to officially post August's wrap-up for the book month of August. And now we're going to start the Burr months <laughs> um, reading. And after this one, I'm going to start the Mulan retelling. Um, because that, that one seems kind of spooky because she goes into the underworld. Um, and then I'm going to obviously go shopping. I think one of the big ones that I want to get is there are three books called Clowns in a Cornfield. And I kind of want to get all three because the third one just came out. But I tried to find it yesterday at Walmart and... <sighs> Meyer. I apologize. And I found a lot. Like, I found Her Soul today and I almost bought it because I'm kind of going to DNF the... Um, audiobook just because I do not like the female uh storyteller's voice I just don't like her I really don't, I'm not liking her which that's fine if you do more power to you not a fan so <laughs> I found the book and I think I'm just gonna read it because that's why I've always liked like haunting and hunting Adeline the reason I got into those two is because I liked both the narrators who are reading the book so <laughs> we're gonna dnf the audiobook for now and I'm going to keep listening to Playground because I seem to be liking the guy who is narrating Playground right now. So, let's go. We got Playground as our audiobook this month. I kind of started that last month, but I really have been slacking on my audiobook listening. Um, and we're going to do Vampires of El Norte to start off our September and do our 60 Days of Halloween. I'm so excited. I watched, what did I watch last night? I watched a movie I haven't watched yet. Dang it! Now I've already forgot what I watched. I'll figure it out. But tonight, I want to watch Lisa Frankenstein, and then we might stay up a little bit longer and watch some more horror movies, but we'll see. But I definitely want to watch Lisa Frankenstein, because I've heard good things about it. So. <laughs> Alright, also I have to show you guys some of my Halloween stuff that I got yesterday, because um, we went to Meyer and Walmart, and Walmart was a jackpot, and so was Meyer. Um, not entirely a huge jackpot, more so like pumpkin wise and like stuff like that. Um, Walmart started coming out with their Halloween stuff. As you can see, I just got a new cup! Ah! So, definitely five out of five pumpkins for Walmart's selection yesterday. Um, even for the PJ set that I really want. Eee! <laughs> My pocketbook just needs to get a little bit thicker. Um, and I promise we're going to go to Spirit Halloween, not this next weekend, but the weekend after that, because it's my next paycheck. So. And then we can go back to the dollar store, because the dollar store is apparently right next to our, uh, the Spirit Halloween. So. Yay! But supposedly this is color changing. I found some other things that I want at Walmart. Also, they had, um, Squishmallows that are Beetlejuice themed. I'm thinking about going back for that. Might, might have to. <laughs> Might have to. Might have to. Because I want a sandworm. Because I want a sandworm squishmallow. It's just, I was looking at them. And, um, yeah. I also found the giant ducks that are like, um, there's a witch and a bat and I can't, a pumpkin. And they're like rubber duckies. They're not, they're like plushy rubber duckies. But they're huge and they're like 30 bucks. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not a good idea. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so... I might go back to Walmart either today or tomorrow, I don't know, and get myself a sandworm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Heck it. But first, Vampires of El Norte. This one's actually a little bit shorter. Or a little bit longer. I think this one's a little bit longer than um, The Whisper Man, which is fine. Completely fine. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Just a smidge bit. Like a couple pages. Longer than The Whisper Man. I'm excited about this one. Let's start it. I have not been able to find this movie right here. It's Ready or Not. Um, it came out in 2019. I've not been able to find this on any streaming service that I have so far. So, lo and behold, I go on Tubi this morning. And there it is! Ah! I want to watch this movie so bad. I think I'm going to put it on my... <sighs> I'm going to put it on my list, and then um, we'll watch it either tonight or tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. Or tomorrow. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But ah! I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to watch this later, though. But i got to read for a little bit, so I'm going to probably watch some black vlogs or something like that. Um, 
But yay! <laughs> so, started Vampires of El Norte. About 26 pages in, two chapters in, I'm into a new section. And let me tell you, this freaking book started off with a bang. Like, I'm loving the... It's in, like, the 1800s, like, 1840, 1830, somewhere around there. And, uh... <clears throat> absolutely loving it. It's on a ranch in, like, New Mexico, I think. Let me double check that. In Mexico. Okay, yeah. It's in 1840 is when it's set. And I'm actually really liking it. Like, the beginning part is just, that was devastating, but I, I'm here for it. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep enjoying this, but I'm gonna stop myself right now and... I'm going to get some lunch, because I'm going to just sit here and read this all day. So, let's go get some lunch. I really don't know if I've filmed anything today. Probably haven't, but happy Labor Day. Um, it is Monday. I did not have to work today because we were closed. Because it's Labor Day. So that's awesome. Um, my brain is not doing brain things, and it irritates me. I am still going to start reading Vampires of El Norte. I think I'm going to, I've already gotten about 26 pages in yesterday, um, but I think I'm going to try and read a little over an hour. Um, I don't have the cats to bug me, I've already fed them. Um, me and Luna have just been doing lazy people things. Like, I've just been, this has been the chillest weekend ever. I just ended up taking a nap. It's been so nice. <laughs> and now that I won't be working Fridays for a good long while, unless necessary, it's going to be even better. <sighs> All right. I am going to... On the plus side, I only have two long days today and a short day on Thursday, which ends my weekends, which apparently Thursdays are going to be my short weekends for the remainder of this month. That's exciting. Um, I'm watching Sarah Caroli videos because I like her. She's an adorable book talker. Um, she's an adorable YouTube book personality. Um... I'm going to watch some of her book vlogs. And then, yeah. I don't know. Read some more of the Vampires of El Norte. Um, and, yeah. I'll tell you guys what I think. So far, I'm only, like I said, 26 pages in. I'm liking it so far. Um, but we're now, I finished the first part with the initial vampire attack. And now we're nine years afterward. Nine years later. So, here we go. <laughs> Um, also, tonight's dinner, I think I'm gonna film because we are making our first chili of the season! Because it's actually chilly out today. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> and I did watch Hocus Pocus for the first time today because it's September 2nd. It's the second day of September! I love this season. <laughs> I did see we're supposed to have some 80s sometime this week, but thank God it's on the days that I have to work. So it makes me sad. But this morning, clocked up at... 49 degrees, which is like, yes, let's do this. Like, 60 and below, I am the happiest little girl you will ever meet. I want to start decorating for Halloween, too. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get reading some books.